Richie Isaacson, Cinch Service Provider. I want to tell you how a microwave actually works. It moves the molecules of food so that it cooks by the moisture of the food getting moved around. And it works by radio waves. It's really an amazing device. And it's good for defrosting, it's good for reheating, and it's actually good for cooking some kind of foods. Uh, if you're just doing a quick reheat on something, it'll work real well. Most people just overcook it. So it's important to know how long. A piece of pizza is a good example. If you put a piece of pizza in and you want to reheat it so that you can actually eat it without burning the cavity in your mouth, then you put it in for maybe a minute and put it on reheat. There's certain degrees of temperature, by the way, on a microwave. There's uh, a three zero, which is defrost. There's an 8-0, which is reheat, and then there's a full amount in anything in between those, which cooks it faster, slower, or the, the temperature that you're interested in. There's a few things that you want to remember about your microwave. When you have the microwave nice and clean, it'll work really well. If it gets all dirty inside and greasy, it's not going to be a good thing. You want to cover all your food with a piece of paper towel. Anything you put in there, put a paper towel over the food. And that way, if it's splattering, it'll go on the paper towel and not on the inside of the microwave. If you do get grease and you get any kind of stuff on the, on the inside of the microwave, it's going to spark and arc. It's not good. It will definitely cause a problem. The other thing is, when you shut the door, do it nice and gentle. If you smack door closed real, real, quick, real quick and you have it uh, ruin the door switches, the microwave will not work. So be very careful with the door.